Hello out there and welcome to English Teacher Plays. We're here with Bottle Can Float, which is a new game. It's on Steam and we're going to play. So I guess first things first, we'll press start. Let's, let's go to the stream and see what this game is all about. Uh, racing mode, I guess? Uh, what? what? What is going on here? I don't... Oh, we can throw rocks! I see. Okay. So pressing the escape button actually stops the simulation. <laughs> Ooh, that Coke can that Coke bottle is like way out in front, but I can't see it. Which one's mine? What am I what am I centered on? I think I'm centered on this one here. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm centered on whatever that is. I mean, this is pretty fun. I like the the sound effects. Yeah, there we go. And now we seem to be on a different thing. Okay. There we go. All right. I, don't, I don't know why we switched to this thing when we were on the bottle before, but... I mean, this is pretty fun. I like this. There's, there's not much in it, is there, but... No! We're losing the race. It's bad. There we go. <laughs> That's cool. I mean, I like I like everything that they de they've decided to simulate. It's pretty fun. It'd be nice to know like which one of these is mine. Like I'm centered on this one before, but I'm pretty certain that I was uh, centered on the um, the bottle that's out in front of us there. And come on. Yeah, no, all that does is speed it up, right? Oop, we're neck and neck. So we are definitely following this blue bottle, so that's Oop. There we go. Alright, so now we're out in front. We're winning. Are we still centered on the blue bottle, though? I just, it's hard to tell, man. It's hard to tell. I don't want to get stuck on that rock. Right, I was going to try and make him get stuck on the rock. Yeah, he got stuck. Cool. We are, uh, racing. Racing down the river. Oh, yeah, we can look. That's cool. And the rocks come from the direction that we are, so... Gotta say, though, it's, it's uh, less interesting now that there's nothing to race. Just putting that out there. But that's okay. Oh, we're gonna get stuck. Cool. And how long does the how long does the river go for? Is a is a question. Mm. I don't know. So what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll fast forward, 
until we get to the end of this river, and then we'll see what we'll see what's happening after that. I won first place! Yay! Apparently. I was worried uh, that it wasn't going to finish, but let's let's return to the hall. So that was, that was pretty fun. I don't know. Let's try... Let's try this one. This one looks like it has waterfalls. And that's what I'm interested in. Alright, I get to choose a bottle. Choose a bottle. So last time I had that one. Let's go with... Chuji Brewing, sure. I didn't realize we got to. Cho I didn't realize we got to choose. Um, all right. Oh, it's nighttime. Okay. I mean, the sound effects are pretty fun. I like the sound effects. And we're out to an early lead. I mean, there's—I don't think there's any way to lose this though, because we're not—we're not competing against um, someone. We're just competing against ourselves. Because I don't know where—I don't know which way the river goes. But we'll, we'll keep going, I guess. I mean, the sounds are really nice. Yeah, the sound effects are really good. It's a simple game. In that there's not... There's not a lot going on here, but... What is going on here is done really well. So I, I definitely can't complain. Um, I'm having a good time throwing rocks at a bottle as it floats down a stream. Like... Basically the same amount of fun that I would have doing it for real. So, well done on simulating an activity that is not inherently thrilling, but is still something that humans do to pass the time. I really want to get to a waterfall, though. That's what I'm hoping for. So I don't know, I don't know which way the river is. Because our, our light doesn't really... We just gotta follow the flow, huh? Yep, yeah, keep going. Keep going there, buddy. Little buddy bottle. There we go. See, so I don't know where the flow... I don't know where the flow is leading us. That way, I think? Yeah, alright. Yeah, there were definitely parts of that last uh, race where there were, like, big flat areas. You could definitely have gotten lost in them. Come on, I want to hit a rapids. Where's the, where's the waterfall? That's, it. That's the only thing that I'm hanging out for here, is just to hit a waterfall with my, with my bottle of whiskey. Or whatever this happens to be. Chuji Brewing or something? Okay. Actually, normally these days what I do when I go to the river is I take garbage out of the river rather than throwing garbage in to see it race. Yeah, I go, I go um, garbage fishing in the river near my house um, because there's a lot of students and they just throw garbage in it. And it's not nice because it goes out to the ocean. You know, doing my part, trying to help out, take the kids or whatever and go, and go garbage fishing. <laughs> it's pretty fun. You know, sometimes you sometimes you get stuff that's funny to play with, and other times you just 
throw a bunch of stuff in the garbage, but at least then you know it's not going into the ocean. So, yeah. We also do stuff like pose with it, you know, like it's a, like it's a fish. So hold it up, you know, and like weigh it and stuff. It's pretty fun. I don't know. It's probably pretty dorky, but the river is very nice. It's nice to spend time at. And it's nicer when it's not full of garbage. So. There's some, there's some plants here. Okay. And we're going underneath the plants. Is this, are we going the right way? Is this, or is this the wrong way? I feel like we're very stopped there. Ugh. Come on, get out of it. There we go, alright. We made it past the, blo the blockage. That's the important thing. Nope, another blockage. See, now the picture had, like, waterfalls, and we have yet hit a waterfall. That is less fun. This would be this would be more fun if there was, like, a more consistent flow to the water. For the racing, you know? Or, like, whirlpools, or little eddies. I don't know, man. There's, like, there's lots of things that could make this better. But it's already pretty cool. It's just, you know... To really capture that feel, you know, you want to see it get sucked into, like, a perpetual tide, whatever they're called. I think it's called an eddy. Yeah. No, it doesn't look like there's going to be any waterfalls, unfortunately, team. Sorry. I was really hoping. I was really hoping that there would be some waterfalls, but there aren't. So... I guess what we'll do is, once I'm done with this, is we'll go look at the description. So I'll fast forward um, until I'm finished with this river, and then we'll go look at the description. We won first place! Yay! Alright, let's go look at the description and see what the game has to say for itself. Alright, bottle can float. Watch the bottles quietly flowing down the river, listen to the pleasant sound of running water, throw small stones into the water, and discover the small animals living by the river. I believe you will definitely gain a wonderful mood. I mean, sure, I mean, like, I quite, I quite liked it. I didn't realize you could move the rocks out of the way, that's cool. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty... It's pretty nice, you know? It's uh, serene, I guess, would be the description. It's a fun reminder of activities that you might do when you're a bored teenager or like, a, you know, maybe 11 or 12. I remember when I was uh, living in Hawaii, um, we used to, when it would rain really hard, we would make boats out of uh, tin foil. And then race them down the race them down the storm drains um, on the roads and stuff, and that was pretty fun because um, you know you'd like give it a little sail or whatever, or you know make a little dinghy, you know all sorts of stuff. And then uh, inevitably they would just get flipped over or whatever, and then they'd sink. But it was fun. It was super fun. So this is currently in early access. As an independent developer, the game control or the control over the content of the game is not as comprehensive as the professional planning of the entire team. So through early experience and interaction and feedback with players to improve the content of the game so as to make the game more playable. Sure. 
Uh, it's expected to last about three months. Mainly depends on the feedback of players. Add some, add some waterfalls and some eddies and some, you know, some speed, some fast sections and some slow sections. Uh, because currently it's a very, yeah, there's just not much happening. So if, like real rivers, if it like widens or narrows, if it narrows, it should get faster. And if it widens, it gets slower. Um, you could have like little animals or fish or something like jumping out of the water nearby. I, I don't know. There's like all sorts of cool stuff that you could do with this. And I think that it's, it, yeah, it would make the game much better. But what you've already made is pretty good. Yeah, I, have, I don't have any complaints about it. I like it. Um, in terms of scenes, we plan to add several game maps with different scenery in the full version to enrich the content of the game. In terms of tasks and achievements, we will make reasonable supplements based on player feedback and suggestions. Sure. Uh, the current version contains four different game maps, there's only three, and corresponding collection and discovery tasks, which already have a certain degree of playability, and players can obtain a more interesting game experience in the current game. So there's discovery tasks. I didn't do that, so I don't know. I don't know what that means, but that's all right. Uh, it currently costs four dollars four dollars nineteen, so it's like three bucks U.S. That's probably good. Uh, bottle can float is a relaxing, casual game. In the game, you will select a bottle to go down the river. It will float freely along the flowing water. You can do you can do you can influence the direction of the bottle by throwing small stones, and there are different small animals hidden in the river. You can make rafting more interesting by looking for these contents. I hope you can relax and have fun in the sound of gurgling water experience. Uh, there's one positive review. I always knew I was trash at video games. I wish there was animal life I can look at as I slowly float. Yeah, I would agree with that. Animal life would be cool. Um, narrowing and widening uh, streams, changing the actual flow of the river, making like making the bottle float faster and slower would be really cool. Having like um, I don't know if you can simulate this, but, you know, when there's rocks sticking out of the thing, then you get little swirls and things, and that's always fun. You could, I don't know. I don't know how you would code that. It seems complicated, but I think it would be worthwhile, and I would like it, and this would be very cool. Um, the, this is developed by Milwoo Studio. Okay. So this is the same studio that made Joyride. Right, I played Joyride. That was a, that was a game that I covered on this channel. Yeah, so if I'm remembering correctly, the controller didn't didn't work. Yeah, the the car kept turning uh, right. They said my gamepad was broken, and then uh, other people going the steer. Yeah, other people having the same problems with the steering. Um, and the developer was like, "No, it's your gamepad that's broken. It's it's not. My 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 gamepad is fine." <laughs> But that's okay, because they've made a new game, right? They made a totally new game um, called Bottle Can Float. And this game, even though there's less in it, I like it better. So, yeah, I don't have a, I don't have a lot more feedback. I, I think that they've done a good job here. I think it's priced right. I think it's nice and relaxing. And I think it, uh, they've really nailed the sound effects and stuff, which is... Uh, it's a new one because lots of indie games really fail at the sound design portion of the game. So they've done a really good job there. Um, I'm going to leave it there. That's Bottle Can Float. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment down below. And I will see you guys next time. Class dismissed.